today we are going to be making keto pizza made so, with cauliflower and homemade sauce so we'll show you how we make it we saw the recipe I saw the recipe um, from a couple of places and I'm kind of making a few of the recipes that I've seen and making it my own um, and hopefully it will taste delicious this is our first time trying it we're gonna use our pizza we're gonna make we have to use no ketchup just sauce raw sauce we're and we're gonna make our own sauce from scratch nice <sighs> nice and <lemon. laughs> so this is our diced tomatoes with some sauce we made our own little tomato sauce and then i'll add and now we gotta add stuff to make it taste dry basil yeah. and some garlic garlic and some onion and we're gonna add it to the sauce along with some of the seasonings i'll have to taste it because i've never really made pizza sauce before so i'll taste it and kyler will taste it to make sure it's kind of the right flavor. Yeah. Add it to the sauce. And then I'm going to put some of the spices. And then we'll taste it. Let's see what look, Italian seasoning. Basil leaves. I guess a pinch or two because I have no idea how much. Remember, this is going to be... Homemade, so it's not gonna look exactly like how the um, pizzerias do it. Oh, salt and pepper. To, we're gonna try it and then we'll taste it. It really smells like pizza right now. That's awesome. So now I'm going to lay the cauliflower because that's what we're gonna use to make our um, bread. So do not try this at home. I'm a, pra a trained professional. And just like that, you got yourself some grated cauliflower. Two cups of the grated cauliflower that I made yeah Tyler did a good job of that chop 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 he's so talented so we're gonna what we're gonna do and the reason that we're cooking it on the skillet and not for very long um, is to get rid of some of that moisture that the cauliflower has because then it's gonna make your crust too um, soggy. moist and soggy we don't want we that. don't like soggy bread right okay. so so I cooked the um, cauliflower for about 10 minutes or so, but I didn't want it to get brown. The moisture, at least most of it, is gone. And now we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients, which is one egg. You can do that, because you know I screwed up. And I forgot to get one egg. One egg, no shells. Right, and one cup of, put it in? Okay, great. And one cup of the, which is kind of like hard and should have opened it before. Okay. Voila. Voila. So now we put in, here you go, babe, one cup of. Or it's about. Yeah. We always do the one about. Those cheese fans out there can put way more if they want to. Okay, so we're going to put that in there now. Mix it up, babe. <clears throat> it looks like a dead meme. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah, sure. We, we hope that the moisture is all out. It's just one egg and. Now we got a, what we really got no do flour in here at all. I suppose if this is our first time doing it, it might come out. It feels moist. It might come out warm. It moist. feels moist because there's an egg in there. Yeah. I guess the egg and the cheese are supposed to keep it together. Yeah, and when the pizza it cooks, moist. I'm going to do the thereabouts. Can you put me a little bit more of that cheese in here? You love cheese. Yeah, but not too much of it. Okay. Go for it. It feels moist. So we can squish it out. Ooh, look at that goo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm getting rid of as much as I can in moisture. And then we're gonna put it here. You wanna do one? And yeah. then we'll combine it. Go ahead, your job. Is your, are your hands clean? I'm going to put it in the oven and we're gonna say a little prayer on it. Make sure that it cooks well. We'll check it out and we'll get right back to you. So this is our finished results. It smells like pizza and it looks like it. We're gonna put it to um, put it on another place where as it's coming off the parchment paper, as you can see, that's why we used it. It makes it a lot easier. And now we're gonna let it um, hang like this and we're gonna put the toppings, the sauce and the toppings. Here's the sauce first. Mm, look at it, sauce. Now it's time to add some to it. What is that? Mozzarella. Right. Okay. Stuff that they put on pizza. Mozzarella? That's okay. okay. But this one's 
Tyler's version, which is pepperoni. Love ah. pepperoni. It's delicious. And I guess some extra cheese, huh? Love cheese. Delicious. And looks good. Voila! Now we're going to put it back in. Are you going to do it? I think you can handle it. Careful, it's very hot. Don't burn yourself. And close. Good job. There we are. It's looking pretty good. Wow, check it out. Just be careful. As usual. It's very caliente. Always use um, mittens while you're wearing this or gloves. Oh, you know what I was going to put? I was going to put it on that pizza. Put it on our uh, serving platter. Look at it. Looks delicious. And then, um, of course, our taster is Tyler G. Reyes. And we're going to slice it and dice it and have a piece. Okay, we're ready for the taste test. Mm -hmm. Get my fingers crossed. Uh, is that how you eat pizza all the time? No. We're... I didn't think so. What's the matter? Is it not staying together? Maybe we're supposed to let it um cool off a little bit. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. What's the word? It's so delicious. Really? That's the word? Oh, I figure. And it has veggies. What a way to get your kids to eat veggies. I'm tell them it's you. real. Tell them it's real pizza. And don't tell them it's veggies. Yeah, if you cook it mysteriously and undercover, you might get away with it. <laughs> and the kids will eat their veggies because this <laughs> bread is made out of cauliflower. That's awesome. This part here, Fabim Reese. And how do you like the pizza? It's delicious. He says it's delicious. Subscribe. And follow us on the Sun and Mom Cafe Facebook page, Twitter, and my Instagram. Hope you have a good day. Bye. Bye. Until next time. No joke. No. Yeah, that's cool. I want to let it cook a while because you want the flavor to blend. Go. Okay. Oh wait. She's taking off the cheese. That's not right.